rabbi. See, this is what they always talked about. What is the greatest commandment? Didn't say it here, but that's what all the Jews talked about. And Simon sat there and took that prayer shawl wrapped around him and got that little seat seat on it, that little, that's got 27 knots, which means spells out Yahweh Echad, one God. What's the greatest of all the commandments? You don't know it, Simon, but you're holding his name in your hand. Come on. See, we're too religious. Our, short, our greatest assets aren't our strengths. Come on, somebody told me, you need to win this guy. He's got a Ph.D. Well, he needs to get a J-O-B. <laughs> this man over here was a Baptist pastor. Stand up and wave at him there, Curly. Hallelujah. 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 Baptist pastor, now he's Holy Ghost filled, baptized in Jesus' name. I'm going to be the janitor in an apostolic church. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, it's not hard to worship him when you put everything into it. She broke that. She broke that. She broke that. She broke that. Need to break something. Break some protocol. Come on. I was preaching at a camp meeting. Don't want to say where it's at because some of you are from that district. And, and, uh, and uh, the second night I walked up to the platform with the superintendent. A guy caught me by the sleeve and he said, I heard you preach last night. And I said, good. And I preached on blessed are the incense burners. And he said, I don't get my blessing by lifting my hands and jumping and shouting and dancing. He said, I get my blessing by observing people as they worship and demonstrate before God. And the superintendent said, come on up to the platform, Brother Payne. And I said, and I said, I said, let me give you one scripture. The kingdom of God doesn't come with observation. And it was so hot in there, man, I could feel the sweat sloshing in my shoes when I was walking around. And they come and brought me a glass of water and set it up on the platform. It used to have ice cubes in it. Now it just had melted all down, just little clinkers in there. I looked back at that guy, and he was sitting about, oh, on the one, two, three, about the fourth row back here where Slick is. Hallelujah. And I said, are you thirsty? He said, I'm about to die. And I said, well, let's quench our thirst together. I said, you feel any better? And he said, no. And I said, watch closer. I said, you feel any better? And he said, no, I don't feel any better. I said, why? And he said, I, quen I can't quench my thirst by watching you drink. And he went, up, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, our assets, not our beautiful talent. Our assets is not our beautiful buildings. Our assets is our shortcoming before God. Come on, God doesn't need our degrees. And I'm not against degrees. I, I, I'm not against the education. Only thing that stood between me and college was high school. <laughs> Happiest five years of my life was the eighth grade. But if all we got is an education... I'd trade it all for, you know what? Moses had a staff. He had a stone. Remember when he got on the stone? But the greatest thing God ever gave him was his stammer. Hallelujah. Come on. The greatest thing God can ever give us is a, is a humbleness when we come into his presence. Oh, God, I don't know why I deserve this. See, it's not hard to give it back to him because he gave it to us anyway. For thine is a kingdom, thine is a power, and thine is a glory forever and ever and ever, ever, ever. Hallelujah. See, we need to learn like that Syrophoenician woman. It seemed like her nationality was against her. Her religion was against her. She was a pagan. She was a Greek from Syrophoenicia. Greek. Worshipped idols and gods. Come on. Mars and what's the name, other names of those Greek gods? Uh, 
Huh? Pluto. That's Mickey's dog, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother Tenney said we need a chart, man. We can't tell when you're rabbi mode or you're thug mode. Hallelujah. <laughs> but she came to Jesus. She came to Jesus and she said, and, 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 and he wouldn't even talk to her. The disciples wouldn't talk to her. And then Jesus made a, a, a true statement. He said, it's not meat that I'd take the children's bread and give it to the kalab, the dogs. And she said, yeah, but Lord, even the dogs get the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And she reached into Jesus into another dispensation that hadn't even broken out yet and pulled a miracle out of him. Hallelujah. Come on, if we could ever reduce ourselves to zero, the 11th hour we become the propagators of grace like we've never seen before in our life. Sister Conley, this is my little sister here. Hallelujah. Stand up, sweetheart. This is my little sister. She's a nurse. She said, Brother Mahaney, when you get old, I'm going to take care of you. Well, you've got about 90 days, sweetheart. Hallelujah. Her and Sister Mahaney. Sister Mahaney, stand up back here. Some of you said we've well, never met Sister Mahaney. This is Sister Mahaney. Luckiest girl in Pentecost. Hallelujah. Like a puppy smothering in mighty dog. Hallelujah. But they and, and, and four or five, about three or four other workers in the last four and a half years have had 3,000 baptized in Jesus' name in their jail and prison. 3,000. I'm, I'm talking about lesbians, dykes, hookers, dope heads, and some women that just made a mistake, couldn't control their checkbooks. Sister Mahaney, hallelujah. And, uh, hallelujah. We got joint checking. I put it in, she takes it out already. But they walked into a baptismal service a few weeks ago and the guard, the screw, the hack, the boss, the man said, everybody getting baptized in Jesus' name, line up on this side. Of course, our people started lining up and my wife said, there's a big old guy in there who had a ponytail. He said, look like you, honey, if you had a ponytail. And I said, it must have been a handsome devil. Hallelujah. <laughs> had uh, biking for Jesus on the back of his Levi jacket. He said, hold it, just a minute. I want to know about this Jesus name baptism. Of course, women are naturally submissive if they're godly women. Say amen. amen. <laughs> Having an uprising here, hallelujah. <laughs> and so Sister Conley and my wife said, let us show you. Let us show you. Well, all right. If I'd have been there, we'd have had a debate and a fist fight. And <laughs> I'd have called him a redneck, and he'd have called me no telling what. And <laughs> but they said they drew a line and said, we'll put everybody baptized in Jesus' name on this side of the line. You put everybody baptized using the titles on this side of the line. 3,120. And the big biker's still thinking. 5,000. And just on and on. He said, okay, from this point forward, I'm going to baptize all my people in Jesus' name. I see it. See, our greatest asset is not our ability to hold people spellbound. It's not our ability to sing and play the guitar. Well, let's all go down to the river. There's a man walking on the water. That's not our asset. Our asset is we are God's servant. And God has taken us through desert places trying to get us to the place that we can be in his likeness. See, they say that the most race-free hour of the year is 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Come on. If you've got one racial bigotry in your body, you're not ready to meet God. Come on. Week before last, Brother Sam Emery, he's uh, one of the greatest preachers I've ever heard preach. 